Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our choose uh, to lose, no, not really the choose to lose campaign, our uh, saving your disaster campaign it is. It's time for the Dark Event Massacre uh, campaign where we are now facing the Warlock uh, that is the last of the three Chosen alive. We're going to kill him and teach him a valuable lesson not to mess with us. Um, optionally, we're also going to loot his weapon, of course. So then a world peace is near afterwards, but before we talk about how to potentially end the campaign, let's get Operation Heart Slayer on the way. We got Elite Titan, a couple of Archon Sentinels, Boa, Codex, Elite Cryo. So quite uh, the pack. I am not seeing any primes here, which is good. Potentially we're getting away without uh, fighting primes and we got the classical four. Uh, Grenadier, Sniper, uh, Specialist and Ranger. This time I decided instead of uh, bringing an, a fake hop pipe with us, we're going to take the Wu uh, with us. That will help us to deal even more damage against the Warlock. I saw just how well uh, we could deal with him once he is in a tough spot. And finally we got our, um, we got our beloved Mac Duke here. So overall that should actually be straightforward. I am hoping that we can kill the sarcophagus in one go and deal with the warlock as well as possible. Let's go boys, let's go. Okay, and we landed. Let's give it a go. Oh, we landed very much in the corner. Can't really go into that room. Uh, so there's only way, one way to go. Uploading the coordinates now. Understood. Move out. Such such steadfast determination, such arrogance. To step foot in this sacred temple and dare strike down a child of the gods. Your hubris is your downfall. Well, as always, the warlock Moving on target. is talking a good game. Question is, can he deliver? Good. We're moving in position. Let's open the door here. Door here is open. That is not very securing. Uh, very securing. So might end up with a situation where we're pulling. I haven't spotted anyone there, okay. I move. All right, moving up. What's over there? Taking the high ground wherever possible. And let's just overwatch again wherever possible. That's why let's hunker down. Yeah, and we knew. We knew that that was going to happen. That's an entire pack. All right, come on. Guardian. Wheels will permeate all around us. Can you not feel it, humans? Their reach is eternal. Even now I don't like using our consumables now. But this is just too good of an opportunity to make it uh, to make it easy to kill these guys instead of difficult i mean hitting all four of them removing cover and all of uh, the almost all of the armor yeah too good to pass uh, that opportunity nice very nice Put 
grab her back. We wouldn't want to do that. Instead, let's start to man mode and kill all of them. One down, two down. Got him. And that should be number three. Easy. Target down. Running. Like I mentioned, we potentially could have also done that without the expenditure of anything. I hope it's worth it. But then again, a shredder cannon is as nice as it is. As you order. Will you ever get the same value than than the one that we have just uh, used? It was the perfect shape. They were positioning so good. Okay, uh, moving up here. slowly but surely. I will move. Let's just overwatch for now. Next room still seems um, open for now. I think we got to go that direction. Moving up, moving up. All right, I'll go. I go. Moving to position. And Listen, we're overwatching. Anything that passes by. In position. All right, the next pick is potentially next to the north, uh, to this northern door here. I once considered myself a part of your race. You seem so small. So narrow of purpose. You do not deserve the elders' attentions. Got it. And as always, he's talking a good game. Will he deliver in our showdown? I have my doubts. Didn't do so well the last time that we met, and that was the B team. Now we bring the A team. Good. We're still requiring one more round of cooldown until we can overdrive. Well, let's take a sneak peek here. Serpent suit, panicked. Could try to hit him twice, or we're hail of bulleting it and are just going to shred him. Either way works, I suppose. Mm. Let's go with hail of bullets. Oh, I forgot he has um, he has the ability to Overwatch against all of our shots. Good, let's move up. And we're overdriving. Let's 
Sentinel is marked and is ready to be killed, actually. Let's try to shred the others. That's good. That worked out well. I was to move up here. Hmm, that that would give us a lot of uh, shots. I think face off and lightning hands with that would be would be even better. So, moving over here, thanks to our suit, we can do that without taking the ladder. That viper here needs to die. Luckily our shotgun can do exactly that. Thanks to tail and rounds and rapid shot. Untouchable and placeable. Moving over here. Lightning hands to soften the guy up. And then we're going to face off. And that would allow for some extra damage. Plus definitely a kill on the Ar Archon. This still actually deals quite a bit of damage. Knuckles gets Comet Presence. And we'll use this opportunity here. Oh, I was about to say to kill it. Didn't that immediately kill it? Okay, so it is dead, but it did not trigger... Oh, well, uh, we can't trigger it twice. I was wondering why wouldn't it... Why wouldn't it have triggered uh, imp Implacable again? Missed. But yeah, that makes sense. Reloading. Threading. That's an interesting pack. I like, uh, I like the boas. Uh, they, however, have nothing against uh, against our damage overload that we're doing. Typically, they can uh, pin you down quite well. So if you don't have the appropriate amount of damage, that pack actually would have been quite difficult. Specifically with the Archon, that's just a high hit point pack all around. Heading out. All right, Elarium Core and a tier three component. Sign me up. Come on it. Next stop I'm will going. be that northern section there. But first it's time to reload and gather strength. I think it's one more pack until we're uh, going to the ascension gate. Ready to go. I'm 
or reload here. Overwatch. 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 And yeah, we're continuing to reload. No need to ask twice. Yeah, that's the final room, so we're close. Good, we're completely reloading. And with Rashi being fully reloaded, we can continue. Moving up. Moving up. Soon, very soon, moving up. You've guessed it. Moving up. Got it. Getting it done. Guard your ears. Got it covered. All right. There we go, that's the last pack, and it's pretty much in, in the room that I was uh, thinking of. And unless it has wandered open the door here, we actually should even see an empty room here. No, it has wandered, which is a bit dangerous. So naturally, what we could do is we could just be very vigilant and wait for them. They're behind this wall here, based on the sound cues that we've gotten. So we can move up just a tiny bit. Good. Very good. Fantastic. Okay, most of us can still reload. Uh, Overwatch. Enemy is still moving, but not showing themselves yet. We're going to use that to our advantage. Good. Carefully advancing. If they are moving over here, they would have a problem. Let's give it a few turns just to see if they actually will be moving, if they are patrolling. At the moment, it doesn't look like it. But you never know. Sometimes, this, I mean, the store is open, so technically they could be patrolling. Yeah, it's getting a little bit further to the right. So we're eventually going to Overwatch Grab them. I'm sensing movement in the area. Nah, it's they are not really moving. And if they do, it's so marginal that it really does it doesn't seem to matter. Transport portal directly ahead. Updating coordinates now. Got it. Let's go. Okay, so far it's a good. Heading there now. Ooh. 
Okay, interesting position. Let's maybe start with the obvious. I don't want to use the Rage Suit. I much rather want to mark the Archon. Oh, that worked out very well. And since I don't think that um, anything relevant will happen uh, with a flashbang in the final chamber, we might as well use it now. That prevents them from uh, using their stupid clone ability. Okay, good. Well, look, we got one, two, three. Lightning hands. Lightning hands into hitting the Archon again. Into... Oh, wow, I thought I could still face off. I forgot we had been moving, but that's not the end of the world. Luckily, we can trans uh, transfer an action over. Because the face off will actually deal quite a bit of damage. And we'll set up for what I was trying to do, which is Reaper, face off into Reaper. Such a nice combination. Good, this guy will uh, we'll find time to kill him. Should we put a... Yeah, let's... Let's actually try to hand over kills to the majors. Okay, that didn't work out. Good. End of turn. Aliens seem to still have a pack somewhere. Good, moving in. Move, move, move. I mean, the only thing that we need to wait for are the cooldowns now, and eventually a little bit of reloading. Got it covered. Preparing my weapon. Got it covered. But every everything needs to be reloaded because once we go through the portal, uh, the weapon attachments such as auto reloaders will reset. So there is no point in not reloading now. And are we ready? Two more turns. We want all of the cooldowns to be ready once we go in. And then it's just one more pack and essentially the Chosen himself. Good. One, two, three, four. Five move, move. and number six. Location confirmed. Good time to ascend. 
And there we go, guys. Warlock vs. Us. And we're stepping into the ring. We used almost no cooldowns. Which means there is no excuse for not killing him now. Oh, look at you. You think that you are smart, right? Moving over here. And let's shred this guy. Four points of shredding. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're running and gunning. Moving over here. Target disabled. Moving to designated. All right. Securing that flank. Thirty-five percent. Not really good. Okay, so, overdrive. We can't get too close because uh, that would trigger the Warlock and we can't let that happen. But we can very much set him up. Okay, that worked well. We're grappling up. Lightning hands for some extra damage. Do we have? We do have steady hands. Yeah, he did. He did not skill the ability to just take shots. Okay, we got death from above. Not too bad. Which also means. Sniper will continue to wreak havoc. Air trigger free action. Oh my god. What's over there? There you go. Good. Implacable triggered. Basically everything triggered for everyone. We can't get the loot unless we want to trigger the warlock and i don't feel like doing that good no one is here so it's really good uh moment for us to kind of reload reflect get everything back in order we have an auto loader here no we don't okay we do have very much an auto loader here, so we're not going to mess with that. Hair trigger, expanded magazine, good. Oh yeah. Good. We're just passing time. One, two, three, four. And five, and I believe every single ability is ready now. Good, so there is no excuse for not full heartedly destroying him now. Moving up. Let's see what the guy has in stock for us. All right, Menace, you know what to do. At last, the humans speak the truth. 
good. We want to get close, we want to hit him often and hard. And somehow someone has already taken a shot. I, I think it might have been uh, the uh, mech over here. We can start uh, to hit and eventually bring him down. Now is a good moment for Rage Strike because that's a free ability. <laughs> and it shreds him on top of it. Nine, 59%, 99%. Yeah, let's just take 100%, shred him completely. There we go, he's empty. He's an empty shell. Moving over, I would be a flanking position. Do not seek mercy or redemption here, skirmisher. No, I will bring you only pain for your betrayal of the elders. Well, we're going to see about who is uh, who is bringing pain to whom exactly. To you. Taking run and gun. Moving it up. And let's just see how well we're doing. Oh boy. 25. Oh my lord. That was 52 points of damage with a double tap right there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It appears this device functions in a similar fashion to the capacitor we encountered previously I and we got a flakeable on top of it to prevent the chosen Thank from you. regenerating indefinitely yes doctor let's blow it to hell as you wish good moving up now it's the right time for overdrive because we want to use all of our remaining uh, turns to dish out as much damage as we can to the sarcophagus Eighteen points, not bad. In terms of grappling, yeah, I still can't really grapple somewhere else. Moving to designated position. Moving up. We can still grapple on the next turn. For now, I want to use Lightning Hands and all of uh, the available damage that we do have. Sit in the water here. I hope it's worth it. Thankfully, this time we have upgraded weapons, and you can see just how much. A difference it makes, right? Uh, she might be the one with the biggest gun. Not sure. Maybe a Rashi does more damage. Couldn't really uh, target anyone else. And it's 8 to 9, so Rashi 
he goes just a tiny bit more damage. So they actually dealt down uh, the damage of the uh, heavy gun, but gave it the ability to shoot twice. Okay. Spectre should not be a problem, and the panicking Viper should even be less of a problem. Okay, so first things first. I want to deal as much damage as possible this round. Reloading. And then let's just continue bashing that thing. Two shots with our uh, with our gun. We just miss the sarcophagus. Yeah, we did. All right, one, one hit, and we do have a mimic beacon if needed. Can't do more than one shot with the mech. But those shots are uh, hitting quite well. I like it. Free reload. Almost done. Hmm. I'm going. Moving up. And that could be it. Okay, fantastic. That's actually quite good. The regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. Then you know what to do. Take that creature down. Changing position. Good. We're pulling ourselves over here. Elite Spectre, okay. Headed there now. Moving over. Deploy Grappling back. hook to here. It'll all make sense in a second. Getting him out of his nasty cover. There we go. And for the small chance of not stunning him, we're going to use Frozen instead. And whilst we're at it, how about you take Sniper Rifle to the face? 14, that's quite good. Warlock reappears. Injured and starts to get shredded right away. Fantastic. That took care of uh, the that took care of uh, the Spectre. It is clear. For the targeting this guy. Ah, unfortunate. Negative damage. Opportunity. Busy. 
We're going to shred him. There will be no mercy for you. I see a hit in melee. I like it. All right, I'll go. Full cover and close combat. That should trigger be uh, bewildering. Shotgun to the face. A trivial effort. That was, by the way, the perfect option, uh, perfect moment for for a hair trigger. Let's try to kill him with a sniper shot. That is not good. That's unfortunate. No Some kinetic plating. We're just going to use the beacon just in case. We cross time and space to serve the elders. Ooh, that did not trigger Blade Storm. He's saving his little rear by summoning a spectral army. Four, um, uh, four stun lances. Alright, let's move a bit closer. Nice little hit. Which perfectly sets up for a kill. Free reload. We gotta deal a lot of damage to all of them. And the perfect way of doing it is via a grenade. First of all, for reloading. And then full damage. Could have taken a shot beforehand, that's a bit wasteful. Have you I was almost hoping, uh, I was almost in my mind like, well, she has salvo, no problem. Two, four, six, eight. That's not a hundred percent kill, unfortunately. But we gotta deal a bit more AoE damage. Which I exactly know how we're going to do that. Comet presence into yet another plasma grenade. Good. Now they are ripe for a kill. And here we go. One down. Good riddance. That's two down. Enemy down. My power cannot be compared to these lower forms of life. But we don't want to kill this guy, we just want to injure it. Fantastic. The reason why we don't want to kill it is we're doing a little trick here. Reloading and... Let's 
kill this guy. And the trick that we are doing is, as long as the Warlock is uh, having at least one of them alive, he will continue to summon his Spectral Army. The moment that he does not have one alive, he will get a full turn. And we don't want that to happen, so we're just overwatching. What's going to happen is this is triggering Bladestorm and a kill. And now he has just lost his action. There we go. And in true fashion, in true fashion, we're moving up. And taking the shotgun to his ugly face. Enemy destroyed. Well, that was it. Warlock down. And it even was comparably straightforward. We, I think we did not even take any damage. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off. Central is, of course, of a op uh, different opinion. On the elders faces. In his perspective, it was not easy at all. Let's see, is that a flawless mission? Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, it was flawless. Okay, that's funny. Good. I don't think that we've gotten a promotion, do we? No, we did not. But it would be great if we would get the promotions on the majors here. We got the Warlock Disrupt Rifle, automatic crit against every psionically active uh, being. And we got a couple of tech fragments, that's not too bad either. I still don't know what they are for, but I can imagine maybe armor upgrades. Lots of soldiers are shaken. Might as well start removing negative traits. Well, and with that, I think we've made a huge step in the right direction. Okay, now finally start to collect our income. I'm wondering, uh, soon I think we could go for the last mi uh, for the last few missions. I'm really wondering if I should do the last missions. Uh, maybe you leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Typically, saving a disaster campaign has the intention of handing it back to the author. Or should I try to do the last mission with all of those? major uh, dark events that are running. Again, let me know what you think. Uh, we still need to finish this month here. Assorted loot could Avengers be something good. We need some more intel and eventually buy some more items from the black market. Get the weapon researched. Good, we got all of uh, the training done, which means we do have uh, one of our engineers left over. Should we do anything here? I wonder. We have enough cores, so maybe a rep suit because I wanted to get that for a long time. War suits wouldn't be bad either, specifically uh, since we have increased the hit points of them. So that's not bad at all, and it would solve our problem of cover removal. Hmm. Let's start with the rep suit and then eventually get a war suit going. In terms of just general upgrading. I mean, Shadowlands definitely makes a lot of sense, right? Light weapon fragments, that we might even be able to do a, uh, the shotgun upgrade, not sure about the rest. Rage armor upgrade, yep, yeah, that's a no-brainer. And we're missing the funds for Shadowlands upgrade. 
but the reaper would certainly benefit from that upgrade and we got enough valerium just barely for one more upgrade Since we're not taking the Reaper into the last mission, superior focus. Are you kidding me? That was the only thing that we did not need. Wow. This here isn't bad. The promotion is actually quite okay. But Soldier's Bond isn't bad either. So. If we wanted to bond someone, say fake hogbite here, with a psi operative, we could do it. Okay, well, no, we can. We can put a little bit of money down so that they are uh, so that they are not going to be injured. So yeah, having those teamwork abilities is actually going to help us out quite a bit. It's a free inspiration, like I said, and you can do a lot of things with it. Good. Given that we have enough power. Not enough supplies. One supply, really. Uh, that is super annoying, but I'm not going to fly all around the world just for one supply now. Okay, plus one. Uh, we want the Warlock weapon, yes. And then potentially a data pad. Dismantle that SMG. That could give us. That could give us the necessary small parts for the upgrade of the weapon. So let's start with it. And then the warlock weapon will follow. Yeah, light, light weapon fragments. That's good. All right, wall of weapons. Okay, in terms of engineering, in terms of engineering, storm gun, just missing a few more light fragments. Oh, I forgot we have already spent 50 of them for the normal uh, guns. So yeah, potentially that's not going to happen in this playthrough. Nonetheless, it's good to have that option available. I wonder if they have disabled all of uh, the all of the bonds because so far I've not seen a single bond increase and even if they hate one another typically after a while uh, you will get the option to bond two of them together very strange Okay, eventually we're going to get the Warlock weapons, and then we're almost ready, right? Good. Uh, more resistance comes right there. With that, we could theoretically gain control of the entire world, which would be helpful because that would solve the income problem forever. And you would gain more uh, continent bony. None of uh, them are really helpful on the last missions because voluntary army and double agent both don't really work in the last mission. Okay, but we wanted uh, promotions, right? So maybe that is something we can take a look at. 
Superior weapon upgrade would be helpful. A lot of mobility. We want promotions. Aim, aim, aim. Yeah, we're going to take that promotion. And whom do we want to promote? We really wanted uh, Knockout as a Grenadier to be promoted. And potentially Hype. Both of them are on slow XP progression. Specifically, Grenadiers take a long time to, uh, to uh, be promoted. So I would say what we're going to do is we're actually going to put uh, the height. The question is what's going to be our final team? Let's, let's think that through real quick before I'm randomly promoting anyone. So what we wanted to do is let's, let's think about the ones that are definitely in the last mission. Specialist, yes, check. Uh, the Knuckles, check. So Ranger Specialist, um, that those two are a fantastic backbone. I would want to go with the Grenadier simply because the shredding is abnormally good and cover removal is good as well. We need more shredding because in uh, in ABA almost everything just has so much um, so much hit points. By the way, yes, please do the bond. Thank you. No, you don't. You don't need a poster. Okay, so specialist um, plus ranger plus grenadier. So the grenadier definitely needs to be upgraded. I like the idea of uh, that high level marksman because the skills of the marksman, uh, of the sniper, of the real sniper with death from above and so on, are still just phenomenal. Um, if you put cereal on top of it, I think you can do a lot. The weapon is not as oppressive because they reduce the damage, but still, just for finishing and cleaning up, it's a fantastic uh, choice. So that almost leaves you with the four standard uh, ones. You can theoretically substitute the marksman and put the specialist on a sniper, but we we did have serial, but we did not have death from above, which is the real. Um, selling point of the whole sniper right so serial good uh, fantastic to be honest but not as good as death from above so the idea of having a specialist sniper with that sort of um, mod hodgepodge that we have was great on paper but doesn't really play out that well in reality so i wonder if uh, mm, if we had the standard four, whom are the two that we're putting in uh, as well? I like the idea of a spark for multiple reasons, uh, mainly because it's self-sufficient and it can shred and has overdrive. So that in itself is great. But what would be the last, uh, The uh, what are the other options? So on the other hand, you do have a Templar specifically with Ghost and Bladestorm, it's, it's a perfect Templar, like how would you not take Fake Hogbite with you? And then um, Dominate, uh, Null Lands and a lot of cooldown based abilities that are just dealing a lot of damage would bypass Armor as well. So I'm wondering if we're taking like those two, we're leaving the Spark at, uh, at home, but we're instead going to take maybe more heavy weapons with us so that we do have shredding if needed i think that could that could actually work out well and specifically if we if we had if either of these guys here had salvo as an extra ability nope not the case. No, unfortunately not the case. Well, if they had Salvo, it would have made a huge difference. Because with Salvo, they could use a uh, heavy uh, suit and still be able to shoot afterwards. Yeah, I, 
I still think we take the standard four and then uh, Templar plus Psy Operative. That's just the standard combination. And I, it, it really feels like um, going back to to comfort picks. Okay. Surgical. Well, that uh, protect the device surgical? Uh, mm, no. Not happening. 300 supplies. Also not necessarily good. Neutralize the field commander. Well, that one here isn't bad. So, thinking about what I just said, uh, we might need to do another mission just to get those promotions. Let's take a look Commander, whom we would need promoted. Need proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. So, Grenadier and Marksman both need a promotion. We can get the Marksman the promotion right away. Grenadier maybe needs a covered ops mission next next round. Okay, so here we go. Promotion. Um, the hype together with a sergeant plus soldier. Well, how about gunner here? 10 days until the promotion. Sign me up. Sounds like a good idea. Good. Warlock weapons are still being researched. And do we need anything here? One more experimental ammunition awesome. could do the trick. Finished, and that's really it, guys. We're going to do the next mission, and then we're eventually on the final lap to uh, to go and finish the campaign. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, and if you enjoy saving your disaster campaigns, and leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.